Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today it's a signing video. We've signed George Fawn from Derby County on loan to the end of the season. Now for me, this is a fantastic signing, bringing in a championship quality player. This is an area which I felt we needed to recruit in. We needed a like defensive midfielder, flash midfielder, as we've got injuries to Glenn Ray who plays in CDM and McCormack can't play every game until the end of the season. So for me, bringing in George Fawn was an excellent addition. We've had a lot of fans from Derby rating him very highly. He's only got a year and a half left on his contract. Derby are not playing him. Um, I think it's because if he plays one more game for Derby, then they've got to give West Brom like two and a half million. Something silly like that. It's a poor excuse not to play him, but he's come back from serious injuries in the past. But he has that championship quality which we need. And for me, signing a player like George Fawn shows a lot of signs that we are gonna push for promotion. You know, Nathan Jones could have easily have signed a few League One players. Instead, he's actually signing players who have played for the championship sides, who need game time, who want to play football, who are good enough to play in the championship, and he's bringing them to Luton. Now, there's a lot of question marks over George Vaughan, whether or not he's fit enough to play, that he's injury prone, and stuff like that. So, firstly, is he gonna be fit enough? Now, he's played, I think, 11 games for the under 23 league now the under 23 league isn't as competitive it's like it is like friendly matches but he still played you know he's played 11 times from september you know so he's 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 had some game time and he scored two goals during those 11 appearances for derby now a lot of people are questioning whether or not he's gonna be like he's injury prone now for me he isn't injury prone i think people get the term injury prone confused with like injuries so basically a player who is injury prone is someone who gets injuries on a regular basis throughout a season george fawn isn't that type of player he's that type of player who's had serious injuries like he's come back from a broken leg he's done his acl so the those two injuries what i've just said are like season out injuries and he's only done that in his career he has he's not like one week he's done his knee in the next week he's done his back in he isn't that type of player he's just come back from two serious injuries so i don't class that as injury prone for me like a player who i would class as injury prone for us is mccormack you know having multiple injuries throughout a season that's what you call injury prone george fawn is a player who has had two serious injuries i don't class that as injury prone if for example when he joins us one week he's done his knee and the next he's done his back in, then yeah, you can class him as an injury prone player. But at this moment in time, I think we only could judge him on since he's played for us, how many games can he play and stuff like that. We can't say, right, he's an injury prone player. We just have to leave it at like that. Yeah, we can't say he's an injury prone player. We just got to see for ourselves what player he is like. Derby fans are really hoping that with us, he has a very successful loan and he can build on... Um, what he was like before because apparently he was rated very highly he could have gone on to play like internationally as well because that's how highly rated he was you know so hopefully with us bring back the old george form before he had these two serious injuries now in my january transfer window edition i said that we only needed to recruit in one area but i've kind of changed my mind slightly since that video i feel like we may need to bring in a striker in someone a little bit young you know, who's willing to sit on the bench and come on for a few sub appearances or maybe start a few games. Because for me, if Danny Hilton, Collins or Cornick or Elliot Lee get injured, you can't, we are, we do look quite short in that area. And Cornick is out injured at the moment, so I believe we should be bringing in a striker. On loan, there's no need to buy a bring in a permanent one in i feel like an online one would be perfect and now there's been a lot of rumors out there that we are looking at Connolly from brighton he's a young 18 year old striker apparently there are rumors that we want him on loan we played against brighton in the checker trade trophy and Connolly also played in that match he's played a lot of games for the premier league under 18 league scored quite a lot of goals which is very good now, I know people don't rate that league, but at the end of the day, if you've scored, like, I think 26 goals and 34 appearances in that league, it shows you, you're still a good player and you've got something about you. So, I feel like bringing him in would be a fantastic addition to the squad. So, if that signing does go through, then brilliant. If not, then not, no need to worry and we can look at someone else. But that 
transfer rumor it's obviously just a rumor i don't know for factual yet if that's going in and also i've just seen a rumor that cornick could be going to leeds united for a million no chance that cornick's going to leeds one he won't pass the medical because i don't think he'd be ready for this month his injury is a lot serious than what people actually think so we may actually won't see cornick until the end of the month and two he's worth at least two million so for me a million isn't enough for cornick you need to, it has to be over two million plus we owe some money to bournemouth as well if we sell cornick so we need to get as much money in as possible so there you have it guys that is the end of the video hopefully you did enjoy it we got a brilliant signing in george fawn yeah we got a brilliant signing in george fawn so hopefully now our squad's going to look a lot more stronger and I'm looking forward to seeing him play. We've got Sunderland on a Saturday, so he may be featuring there. Drop a comment down below your thoughts on the new sign-in. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next video.